right guys, this is Adam, Burns Cadillac Chevrolet. Before I tell you about this video, first and foremost, I've done this walk around already once, but my friend Manny did a terrible lighting job, so we had to redo it over again. So this is a 2019 Chevrolet Silverado Premier LTZ. It is loaded, super nice, with the exception of some power running boards. So let's get into it. 2019, they redesigned the whole thing. Of course, so the hood's completely different. The grill's different. I think they did something really extremely nice by putting in the chrome inserts along with the chrome front bumpers, the front parking sensors as well, and the tow hooks I think is pretty nifty not having them chrome as well. It makes them stand out just a little bit. This was something that was kind of cool that I noticed not too long ago for airflow, and they, they say it's better gas mileage. I can't prove it, but EPA says it is, so I'm going to go with it. It sounds pretty good. You can come right to the side, you're going to see that it's got 20 inch polished wheels. Um, and it comes standard on this particular model here. It is a Premier LTZ edition. On this one, you normally would find Z71, but because it's a Premier, you get a Silverado logo, but it still has a Z71 for all the guys that's gonna ask. The mirrors are a little bit lower. They're not attached to the pillars up here. So you get a bigger mirror here. You also still have your breakaway mirrors. It's got the puddle lights in here. It's also got the side blinds on alerts this in here chrome door handles with keyless proximity entry before we get to the inside you're going to notice that this door is larger and it is a lot larger so i don't want to hear any of the ford dodge guys saying that the door isn't big enough coming into the back side it is a four wheel drive back to the notch step bumpers from the old ones a little bit smaller a little bit larger in this one the grooves are a little bit more substantial chrome bumpers the uh ultrasonic parking sensors trailer hitch as always all the pin systems you need anywhere from a four pin to a six pin it is super sharp LTZ badging they took away the Silverado and made the Chevrolet concave into the tailgate this particular one does have the electronic power tailgate hit it one button and it will lower down I got some people that corrected me on the last one about it it, it was a power tailgate this is an electronic tailgate really easy to close really easy to open the bed of this truck is definitely larger it's deeper and it's wider and of course it has a power outlet right there along with the rear LED lights that are now factory installed the rear sliding glass I'm gonna shut this tailgate and let's take a look at the inside as I mentioned before Plenty of space in the back seat, a lot larger. The floorboard's bigger. You have the ability to roll the seat up and to have an additional storage space down here similar to the Colorado. Talk about storage. There's an actual storage behind the back of the seat. You can put pretty much anything you want in there um, and hide it away. People don't even know it's there. You do have your cup holder for your passenger right here. And speaking about the passengers, finally, rear air. They have their own vents here with the heated seats and the USB ports along with a 12 volt adapter. I'm done with this part. Let's go to the front and take a look at it. Totally redesigned steering wheel. Leather wrapped. Audio controls to my right. Cruise control and a couple extra op options to my left. The forward collision alert and the heated steering wheel is here. To my left, they moved a lot of the controls such as the four wheel drive, the cargo lamps, and of course, the um, lights for your um, vehicle as well. Right in front of you here is the new style display. It's pretty easy. The steering wheel allows me to control a lot of these functions. And I can just go left to right and find the options that I think I like the best um, and then go from there. You come around here to the right, you're gonna see this a huge center console. Used to be a charging center right here, but they did something awesome, made the charging center bigger and they put it right here where it's easier to reach, at least in my opinion it is. And my phone is charging, so now you can finally fit one of the larger cell phones in there, however you want to do it. Cup holders, this nifty compartment here, they showed us with books in it, so I'm assuming they want us to read a little bit more and I'm in agreement with that. Trailer brake controller, USB ports, 12 volt adapter, and of course a power outlet. Don't go blow drying your hair. So um, I don't have that problem. I'm not going to have to worry about that one. Here's my lane keep assist, my parking assist, the auto stop, the power tailgate function. I can open it from the back, from inside, and from my key remote. 
It's got traction control and the power plugs that I showed you guys there. Heated and cooled seats for both sides, all the audio, I mean, all the climate controls. And as we come up here, it's the new style radio that you're gonna see in a lot of vehicles. The vehicle that had this particular vehicle is easy to swipe now. So all the stuff that you're ever gonna need is one swipe away, one swipe away. Come up here to the top, you're gonna see that the new rear vision camera is in full effect. And of course, this thing's nifty, but it's also kind of weird at first when you first when you're not used to it. But you can uh, go back to the normal view if you like. All your options up here for your power slide and rear window, and of course the sunroof that this vehicle has. You don't find a whole lot of Silverados with a sunroof. I think it's awesome that we're finally starting to get a lot of them in there. The Home Link system, guys. I have plenty more of these. They come in multitudes of models. Ask me questions. Tell me what you want videos on. Find us on YouTube. Find us on pretty much any social media outlet. And remember to ask for Adam. One thing I'm going to plug again is the Susan G. Coleman Foundation. Please, please, please donate. It's for an awesome cause. I promise you 100% of the money is going to go to that foundation.